It has been a real honor to be chosen to give this speech because it has given me a chance to think about the city we all live in Guangzhou. We usually don't realize how much or how little we know about our city and are often confused when we ask to introduce it to people who visit it for the first time. When we look around our city with attention and interest, we can truly find amazing things about the city we all like to call home. Guangzhou is probably best known for the democratic arising, which is one of the most tragic and shameful incidents in Korea. When we visit the May 18th National Cemetery, we can experience indirectly the situation of those troubled times. On those few dark days in May of 1980, Guangzhou citizens, many of which were students, decided to fight for the freedom of democracy. Many lives were sacrificed during those times, including innocent citizens, of, innocent citizens who were <coughs> killed or injured for just being at the wrong place at the wrong time. In 2011, just following the remembrance ceremonies for the May 18th Guangzhou Uprising, UNESCO announced that it will record it will include records of arising in the memory of the World Register. On a more positive note, Guangzhou is also represented by its natural surroundings. Mudung Mountain was referred to as the South of Mountain, so which means rock. The Guangzhou citizens' lives and spirits resemble those of the rocks. It sounds a lot like you are saying, to live with justice and faith. Not far from Mudung Mountain, Sosewan and Guangzhou Lake are littered with fabulous natural views. There are also numerous pavilions among, along Mudung Mountain's hiking trails filled with poetry and literature, which make this a musty area when visiting Guangzhou. Guangzhou is recognized as a cultural and art city. Guangzhou Biennale is an international modern art festival which first opened its doors to the public in 1995. Apart from Guangzhou Biennale, Guangzhou also plays host an annual Gimchi Festival, the Inbound Korean Traditional Music Festival, and the Guangzhou Jung Yul Song International Music Festival, which further proved the title of Guangzhou as a cultural and art city. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, you can live with uh, Guangzhou without just for sitting down for a meal. It has long been considered the culinary capital of Korea. Here, a visitor can enjoy a full course meal consisting of barley rice, dog stew, minced beef steak, and of course kimchi. In two th the 2015 summer university games are coming. That's why the whole city is busy preparing for this event, as most of us now realize that this will be a great chance to introduce Guangzhou to the rest of the world. I am confident that all of the citizens will once again stand together and give their best efforts to give these visitors the best impression of our great city. When we believe we can make a beautiful and comfortable place to live, we'll become reality. Dreams do come true, Guangzhou is forever. Thank you for listening. Thank you. 11번 조영덕 참관해 주십니다.